Wow, right? It's really a lot to take in, we know. One of the most beautiful celebrity relationships might actually be coming to an end. We were all following when PK and Shakira met for the first time in the build-up to the 2010 World Cup in South Africa. To refresh your memories, they met on the set of the video shoot for Shakira's song Waka Waka, this time for Africa, the theme song of the 2010 World Cup. Before then, the Colombian music star never even knew who PK was, but she found him attractive and he liked her too. PK walked up to her and started a conversation, and somewhere along the line he told her that he would get to the final of that World Cup tournament just so he could see her again as she was scheduled to perform at the closing ceremony. So, so sweet, isn't it? Anyway, we all know what happened. He did indeed get to the final with Spain and in fact went on to win the tournament. So they did meet again and officially kicked it off the following year. Because of how they met and the uniqueness of their relationship, many pronounced them the perfect couple. They just looked like they were destined to be together forever. I mean, they share the same birthday. So Shakira is exactly 10 years PK senior. Also, they have two kids together, but they never got married. More than a decade together, and they never considered walking down the aisle. When asked about why they haven't yet tied the knot, Shakira confessed that marriage scares the life out of her. She went further to say that she wants the Barcelona defender to continue to see her as his girlfriend, lover, and in her words, a little forbidden fruit. Basically, she doesn't want to be seen as just the wife. Now in that same interview in 2020, Shakira said some words which hold so much weight now in the current circumstances. She said, I want to keep him on his toes, I want him to think that anything's possible depending on behaviour. And now, going by the reports that have come out from the Spanish media in recent days, it indeed seems like anything is possible. Emilio Perez, a Spanish journalist with El Periódico, was the one who broke the news that PK and Shakira have been living separate from each other for some weeks now. And he went on to make the bold claim that that happened as a result of the footballer's infidelity. Now, of course, none of this is verified yet, but there are some indicators that the rumours might actually be true. First of all, Shakira, who usually has PK all over her Instagram, has not put up any photo or video with the defender since March. Also, PK has been pictured frequenting nightclubs of recent, and with Ricky Puig too. We all know what this looks like, don't we? And perhaps the biggest pointer is Shakira's latest song, which she released in April, along with Raul Alejandro. In the song, she talks about how she's been broken into pieces by someone she was initially warned about. She then went on to add that she can't stand two-faced people. When translated into English, here's what the hook of the song says. My eyes are red from crying so much for you and now it turns out that you are sorry. It sounds sincere, but I know you well and I know that you lie. Now, of course, there is a possibility that this is nothing more than a song lyric, but with everything going on right now, we're inclined to think that she wrote that song for her longtime boyfriend, Gerard Piquet. Now, if the rumours are true and PK actually did what the media is accusing him of, then he might actually be in big trouble. Shakira has proven that she's not scared of walking out of a long-term relationship. Before PK, she dated an Argentine lawyer, Antonio de la Rua, for almost 11 years but quit their relationships a few months before she started dating PK. Now, we don't know if that relationship ended because of infidelity, but it proves two things that PK really might not like. One, as we've said, Shakira is not scared to walk out of a long-term relationship and two, she moves on very quickly. And PK may end up not only being in trouble with Shakira, it is still unverified, but there are rumours that the woman he cheated with is the mother of his 17-year-old Barcelona teammate, Gavi. If that turns out to be true, we really wonder how the teenager would react and what that would mean for the Barcelona dressing room. But what do you make of all this? Do you think there are just rumours or do you think they hold some weight? Also, what do you think will become of the pair? Will they weather the storm together? Or are we witnessing the end of this power couple? Share your thoughts with us in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also, turn on the bell notification so you never miss out on new content. And we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.